again. Uh, I'm going to show you all what I've been working on here lately. It's a portable solar generator. Uh, more or less, I just made a trailer out of, uh, well, go figure, bus seats. I seem to have plenty of those for some reason. And uh, slap solar panels on top of it. And Well, let me show you. Let me flip you around here. Okay, of course, uh, you know, my little power box there. Only thing I have hooked in, of course, is solar, and I need to extend these wires, too. But for right now, that's what I've got. Now, there's plenty of room back here for additional batteries. And uh, I could actually box it in a little and make it where I could haul all kinds of stuff. Now, on this side, what this is, is push this little pin here up, and the whole system folds up like that and it just pretty much friction holds itself up so you don't have to I was thinking about drilling holes I still might do it but I was thinking about drilling several holes all the way up through here it does lock in in this last one of course but that's way up all the way and actually, let me get it down a little so you can see this. All right, right here is my little gauge to see if I'm pointed at the sun or not. All it is, uh, let me get it to focus here. All it is, is a piece of angle iron, you can see there, bolted to the panel with a screw in, or a bolt in it. When you can see that shadow, it's not facing the sun all completely. And when the shadow goes away, like that, it is directly into the sun. And let's focus again. There we go. Now it's directly into the sun. So at this angle right now, the sun is right up there. And the panels are perfectly aligned with the sun. Now all I did, uh, this is handles off of a lawnmower. I welded on. Of course, the two bus seats welded together. A um, couple of boards. Now, these are pieces of three quarter inch conduit. I got two of them. And just kind of welded them to the top of the lawnmower handles. And this is a piece of that foam that you put around pipes to keep them from freezing. You could use a pool noodle too, it's the same thing. Only I guess a pool noodle is thicker. But that gives a little bit of cushion from the solar panel hitting the pipe. And on this side, I just used conduit straps, two hole straps, to hold the panels on. Just like that. So really, this is a roof over top of the whole box because I took a piece of aluminum tape and taped the seam all the way down through here so it won't leak. Push it down a little. There we go. And all right. So now we are charging with the sun and I've got a portable system. I can use power tools because I have my inverter and everything on there. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, Oh, these right here, what the wheels are on. I actually need a little bit bigger wheels. These are kind of small. Um, but these are, uh, uh, this was a wheel kit for a generator right here. And I never did use it, but uh, it's just supposed to bolt on to the generator. I just welded them on. And it made my little axles. And then on this end, I've got my homemade hitch. You can see this goes over a two inch ball right here. And then you tighten this bolt up and it won't come off. Because the bolt goes, and you can't really see that, but the bolt goes out in here. I drilled through, welded this nut on so that when you tighten this bolt up, it can't pop back up off the ball. Anyway, that way I can hook it up to the four-wheeler and pull it wherever I want it. 
Um, also, you can grab it by, by these and just pick it up and move it. It's, it's not really heavy yet. Now, once I get more batteries, I'll put them back here so it's not quite as heavy, but still, it's going to be heavier. If you want to see how I built that, I've got a, I'll put a link in the description to show the video where I built that box. But it has charge controllers for a wind generator, solar panels, and these go directly to the battery. That is going to be for my water generator. And we have two cigarette lighter plugs. We have a meter that shows a state of charge, power strip that runs into a power inverter on the inside. But that is my solar generator right there. Get a pretty good shot of it here. That's my solar generator. Portable, completely portable. With external hookups so you can hook whatever you want to up to it. Well, that kind of figures. I went down to the house. I got my meter because I wanted to check what difference it makes to aim the panels directly at the sun. I wanted to see how much different amount of power that I get by actually pointing the panels directly at the sun versus laying flat. I wanted to see, you know, what the real difference was and all that. But by the time that I went down, got the meter, turned around and come back up here, the sun is gone. <laughs> it uh, found a cloud or two to hide behind, so <laughs> that's the way it goes, I guess. Anyway, we may still try it because uh, there is sunlight out here. It's not a whole lot, but maybe we can try it and just see what we can do with it. Okay, just from playing around with it, I've actually learned something that I didn't know. Okay, on a sunny day, um, pointing the panels directly at the sun gives you more efficiency. But, when it's a cloudy day, apparently, I did not know this, pointing the panels straight up, I don't know why, but pointing them straight up, you can, I don't know if you can see that, you can tell I have the meter hooked up to the solar panels, and we are getting, not very much right now because it's so cloudy, 0.4 amps. And that's with the panel tilted toward where the sun is. Now let me straighten the panel out. And we're almost at 0.6. So apparently, if you point toward the center of the sky, and I guess that does make sense because right now there's darker clouds over where the sun is there's darker clouds the clouds are lighter right over top of me it probably changes but for right now flat panels give you more which this is not much usable power anyway but the flat panels are giving me more power than tilted panels strange i'm going to show you how these panels tilt and how they stay up now what you've got to do is you have to push both of the, the, the little snap releases. One here. And you got to hold up on it because if you drop it down, it'll snap back in. So you have to push that one, hold it up, reach down and push this one. Then you can just push them to whatever angle that you want. And there's a friction fit enough that it will hold up wherever you put it. So that is my 
homemade solar generator. It's not completely done yet. Of course, I have to have more batteries and I have to have it refined. Everything has to be mounted down. Uh, the box is not going to be permanently mounted to it. It's going to be on a, a detachable mount system thing, something like that. But this has just been built out of just parts I had laying around. That's going to be about it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.